It's Friday. Uh, let's talk about Murph. It is Memorial Day weekend. We're not open. What does that mean for you guys? What does that mean for us? What does that mean for uh, Murph at Cobb Valley? Let's answer some questions. Um, here's what we're going to do. Um, so we, we can't yet do anything at Cobb Valley. We're still not going to open until June 1st. So if you guys want to do Murph this weekend, Awesome, go for it. Um, it's not gonna be in the programming. I haven't seen Mondays just yet, but if you guys wanna trade it out, that's fine. All you need is a pull-up bar or something to pull yourself up with. You can do this on a doorway. You can do this on the underside of like an open set of stairs. You can go to any of the dozens of playground gyms in Lawrence. Um, other tidbit of advice, just for those that are going into this, uh, Murph is not meant to be an easy workout. So no, you will not have your like rogue chalked up bar that's not going to slip and you can, you know, cut down all your time so you can get that PR on Murph. It's not what Murph is about. Okay. Murph is about giving tribute to Lieutenant Michael Murphy. Uh, that guy, I guarantee didn't kip his pull-ups, uh, and just did it because it made him fitter. Um, the reason we do Murph is because it was his favorite style of workout. He could go run a mile, knock out 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 air squats, go finish out with a mile and call it a day. And that's what he used to stay fit, okay? Um, so keep that in mind when you guys are knocking this out. Yeah, the only tip of advice, if it is thunderstorming, be careful. Um, cool, what Cobb Valley is going to do, uh, we've talked about a couple different options. What we want is for it to still be a community event. We're gonna push this to Labor Day weekend. I know that's not the norm. We've done 31 heroes in the past or some other hero wads. Uh, that pushes it far enough back that we can potentially do a larger group. Um, you guys are gonna be much more prepared to knock out Murph and feel good about it instead of just hurting your shoulder and being out for the rest of summer, um, which we definitely don't want. So. Labor Day, we're gonna knock it out here. We will do our best to make it into a community thing um, and explore that for whatever it's gonna look like at the end of summer, okay? So if you wanna knock it out, go have fun this weekend. We're not gonna do it in the gym for a while, so feel free, you're not gonna worry about whether you're gonna do it again in a month. Uh, get her done. Cool, that's all I got for Murph. Let's do question of the day. Let's do the workout for Friday, uh, and then I'll wish you guys a, uh, an awesome weekend and uh, holiday on coronacation. What does that looks like? Uh, question of the day. What movement opportunities are you incorporating into your daily life? So a movement opportunity is something like not having uh, a couch so you have to sit on the floor or a cushion. That creates the opportunity to go through a squat to get down, moving your body and using the fitness that you develop in the gym now in your daily life. Other movement opportunities, installing like a pull-up bar that's above a doorway. So every time you walk through it, you can get a little hang time in there, okay? Um, what are you guys doing in your daily life that increases the amount of movement so you're not doing functional fitness in this compartment and then being sedentary on the couch for the rest of your existence? That's not good. We gotta be human inside and outside of the gym. That means squatting, that means running, running, that means lunging, that means picking things up. So let us know how you guys uh, use your functional fitness in daily life. Put it into the comment section uh, on the open it Instagram thing and whatever. Uh, and we can talk about it, that'd be cool. Cool, all right, uh, next up, workout. Here's our warm up for today. You've got an on the 30 second times six minutes, so that's 12 rounds of this, um, or 12 minutes, uh, uh, 12, 12 intervals. There we go, I can do words. Uh, first one, you're gonna do 30 seconds of high knees. Second one, seven per side of an RDL plus a reach. That's 14 reps in a 30 second window. So this is gonna look a little bit different than what we normally do where you are hinging slowly and then reaching with control. We're gonna make this more dynamic. You're gonna hinge over and reach and then create a pendulum-like motion with your counterbalancing leg, okay? So speed it up a little bit. Um, if you need to balance, that's fine, grab onto something. Uh, but if your balance is pretty strong, this is a good way to also improve it. So seven per side, knock those out really quickly. By the time you get done with those two things, your heart rate should be kicked up. And then you're going to finish the third interval with 10 alternating Cossack squats. Again, that's a lot of Cossack squats in a short amount of time. Get moving quick, cool? You're gonna go through that four times to knock out those 12 intervals. 
Next step, we've got some Y raises on a box or a chair. We haven't done these in I think a week or two potentially, but wake your shoulders up, okay? This I would slow down. You're gonna do 10 reps on each side, holding a three second contraction, a rails contraction on each rep, okay? With that rails contraction, that's just chasing after that active extended range of motion, fight as hard as you can to create as much shoulder flexion in that joint that you're capable of. Note that on the first rep versus the 10th rep, you should be able to activate more and get more range by pulling your joint a little bit further into flexion. So play around with that. Awesome. Specific warm up stuff. You're gonna go through two rounds of this. You've got 10 overhead sit ups. All that is is just having something behind your head. Uh, parallel to you and then do your sit up uh, and then 10 to 14 glute bridges with a walk out so with this you're going to kick up into your uh, hump up extend your hips up into a glute bridge and then you're just going to walk your feet out a little bit and then walk them back pretty simple just a variation to get your glutes and hamstrings working together and then rock out five to ten push-ups just to grease the groove on that um, once you get through two rounds then we're going to part ways just a little bit um, We've got another couplet of a weightlifting movement with uh, strict pull-ups. Uh, I think last week was running in strict pull-ups or something along those lines. But So today what we're going to do is two rounds of this entire thing. You're going to do a 15, 12, 9 dumbbell uh, bench press okay, or floor press or whatever, depending on what you got, with 9, 6, 3 strict pull-ups. Okay, when you get done with that, so 15 bench press, nine strict pull-ups, 12 bench press, six pull-ups, nine bench press, three strict pull-ups. I don't think I said that right, whatever. Rest for three minutes and then do the whole thing over again. Cool. Um, if you don't have the dumbbells, cool. Get on the ground. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna do some a glute bridge with an odd object floor press. Okay. This is a really good way to activate your glutes while also pressing something and then it doesn't actually have to be that heavy to get any benefit out of it. So just grab something that you can go on to. It might be a goblet, which is like that narrow hold, it might be wide, doesn't really matter, but get your glutes up and then go through that horizontal pressing motion. Um, for the pull-ups, if you don't have a pull-up bar, we're going to go into those plank pull-up holds or so we're driving those elbows in um, and then those are just going to be 60 seconds 45 seconds and 30 seconds okay review the reps before you get into it it is a little bit different depending but you're still going to do two rounds with a three minute rest awesome let's talk the metcon because that was just for fun right cool if you have some equipment what you're going to do another couplet followed by some rest followed by another couplet Okay, first one, you're gonna do 22, 16, 10, alternating pistols with hang power cleans. Okay, so you're gonna go through 22 pistols, that's 11 on each leg, you're alternating, that makes 22. Um, and then you're gonna go through 22 hang power cleans at like 115.75-ish or 115.80, depending on what you've got at home. Um, once you get done with that couplet, okay, so 22, 16, 10, rest for two minutes, not very long, be sure you're raring to go add the weight onto the bar, and then you're gonna go through 18, 12, eight, so just a little bit less reps, of pistols again with hang power cleans, but this time we're shooting after that 135, 95 range, so just a hair heavier, okay? Um, if you guys don't have that much equipment, what we can do is a, um, either, or if you're working on pistols for that matter, I like the close stance reverse lunges. You can actually go into a curtsy lunge and then start to bring those feet closer together, and that's gonna start to emulate your pistol awesome scale for this so you can trade that in um, and then just an odd object ground to overhead grab a backpack throw it over your head a couple times we'll call it good and then that's going to stay the same if you want to make your backpack heavier or change it to kettlebell swings or whatever it is be my guest as far as for some strategy on this um, what i want you guys to do is focus on your consistency in your pistols it's not that many pistols in the scheme of things um, and you want to be able to go straight into those hang power cleans and knock out a bunch of reps, okay? 22, 16, 10 at 115, 75-ish, like that's, somebody's going to do it unbroken. That's what it's kind of designed for, okay? Um, so you should be able to blast through those. Just make sure you're not totally gassed from the pistols that you can't do anything with your legs afterwards or coordinate. 
or on vice versa. Don't make, make sure that you have the capacity or know your capacity for the hang power clean so when you go back to the pistols, you're not just obliterated and you can't coordinate your legs. Um, cool. There's some prone back extension holds in there with a YouTube video in the waterfly, so check that out. Um, otherwise, go on Instagram, answer the question. Let's talk about some movement stuff that we can incorporate in our daily lives outside of the gym. Uh, and we'll see you guys tomorrow for the old Saturdays.